Hey, it's Rob with palmwebos.org. I'm here to talk to you a few minutes about uh, webOS and the actual user interface um, on the Palm Pre. So I think that everybody starting out should be aware of three main things. Um, the first would be in the upper left hand corner in most applications and screens you're gonna see a menu. So if you're looking for different options, you're looking for help, there's often a, a help button. It's always in the upper left. It's not on the home screen, but be aware of the upper left hand menus. The other thing would be below the screen is a gesture area. The main gesture you need to know is the back gesture. So whoops. And you can see that when you get it correctly, it lights up on the right and then the left. So you're going to use that to go backwards when you're on a screen and you've progressed and you want to step back, um, you're going to use that back gesture. The other thing is this button here. Um, when you have multiple screens open at one time, they're called cards. So if you're looking at mu or using multiple applications, they're each saved on a card. To look at all your cards at one time, you'd press that button. We have no cards right now, so there is nothing to look at, but that's what we're going to dive into now. So this bottom row is the quick launch um, applications, and you can customize which ones they are. By default, they're the dialer, the contacts, the email, the calendar, and then this one opens up all applications. We're going to use the back gesture so we can go back real quick. And from anywhere in any screen, anywhere, you can always use this little gesture area and move up and have easy access to any of these. So no matter what screen you're in, know that. And to do that, remember, you have to be a little bit below the, a little bit below the, the screen. Um, you can see that little thing that just popped up. That is a status icon. So to open that, I'm going to click that. And you can see I've got a Yahoo email for Android phone fans. Uh, some of you may know I also run fandroid.com. So I don't want to read that now. And to throw one of these status icons away to say, yes, I've already read that, you just touch it and flick it to the right, and then it's gone. OK, let's continue. So now we want to, let's open up the dialer real quick. So you open up the dialer. We can you know, make our call, press the call button. This is voicemail. This is contacts. And up, oh, look up in the upper left, we've got a menu. So you can look at sounds and written tones, preferences, and there's a help button. So like I said, there's always help up there. If you can't, if you want to you know, know what the different options are, the help is usually there in most screens. We don't really want to look at that. Um, let's go back and open up, hmm, let's open up the calendar. The calendar is actually really cool. I don't use, um, now I'm synced with Google Calendar. I don't use Google Calendar, really any calendar. And I'm also terribly unorganized, so I'm really going to make an effort to start using it. And this phone makes me really want to use a calendar because it's so easy. It's so cool looking. Um, at the bottom left, you've got the day and you've got, whoops, you've got the day, the week, and then the month. So I can change days by going left and right and see what I've got planned. I can go in here and uh, and type in a new event and you know type what I've got to do. Actually, let's type in the. Whoop, I'm gonna need to delete that. Um, the Apple keynote is today at. Uh, I think my time it's at one o'clock. I'm on the East Coast, so let's just t go ahead and type that in. Apple. WWDC two thousand nine, and we're just going to hit enter on that. And now that's in my calendar. Now that's going to sync with Google Calendar, so I can go to my desktop and look at my calendar. And now that's going to be there. So it's pretty cool. I need to stick in all my birth, you know, the birthdays and stuff like that. But you can look at the week view and see what you've got planned. I put an event in here. Um, it brings me right to that. There's a wine festival uh, near where I live and a Greek festival as well. So it's really pretty neat. And the fact that it syncs with Google Calendar is great. Um, 
but the calendar app's wonderful. So whatever, let's go back and use this back gesture to get out of here. Now you can see the dollars on the left, uh, the calendars on the right, and we're starting to accumulate cards. But I want to search the web real quick. I want, I'm kind of want to check out ESPN.com. I didn't get a chance to see the basketball game last night. So let's go see who won. Um, I could type the Earl right in there. ESPN is on one of the, the saved uh, bookmarked web pages. So we'll just use that. I was hoping for a Kobe and LeBron finals. Didn't get it, but uh, what can you do? I'm not really rooting for anybody now. I just wanted to see a good matchup, and I thought that would be the best one or the most exciting one. So as this loads up here, the browser is usually pretty quick. This is awfully slow for uh, what I've experienced up to now. And you can see, actually, data is not... But I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi, so I don't know what the deal is here. Whatever, let's go back until this loads. Oh, that sent me back all the way. Not slick, Rob. Not slick at all. Okay, well... Let's show you how to, this isn't working well, so let's get out of here. Let's go to our card view. So we click that, and now we can go through all these cards. So that wasn't working. Whatever. I want to throw it away. To throw an application away you don't want to use anymore, you flick it to the top. So flick it off the screen, and it's no longer there. Let's go do something else instead. I'm wondering if it's the web connection, ESPN, or what. Um, let's go to the photos and go to all images. And if you did not know, the the pre has uh, the multi-touch zoom. So if I want to zoom in, I pinch and spread out, which is pretty cool. As we all know, the iPhone has this, and there was some talk about the patent. But this is a really cool feature, and it's really neat actually on Google Maps and stuff like that. So you can also look like this, like it's a gallery, and swipe left. Oops. But the picture, the, the screen is just beautiful, so it makes the pictures look really, really gorgeous. But let's get out of here. Um, and what else do we want to do? Let's look at the all the options we have here. There's messaging, web, camera. The camera's great. Just want to show you the flash real quick. If I can. Uh, if it's going to be dark enough. So obviously you just press this camera button. Let's see if it's going to flash at me. Yep, there you go. So we got the flash. Hey, I took a picture of my Syracuse t-shirt. So let's get out of here. I'm going to actually throw it away. So I'll press the card view and I'll flick it out of the way. Um, let's see what else we can do. We've got photos, videos, memos, Google Maps, Tweed, which is a Twitter app. AccuWeather, you got to have the weather on there. Tasks, I downloaded the New York Times. I still need to play with most of the applications. So we've got App Catalog. App Catalog is going to be an important one. We'll take a closer look at that in a video of itself. Um, YouTube, Amazon, so it really runs the gamut. And these are all ones that are mostly ones that came already on the device, except for like the Tweed and, and uh, New York Times. But you can see there's also a help here. This is a help for the entire device. So um, if you're trying to figure out how to do things, that would be a good place to go. What else? I think that we're, on, we're coming up on time here with the 11-minute YouTube deadline. But oh, look, it looks like I got another status notification. Click on it and another email from the Fandroid. So, um... I think that's a good basic look at the Palm WebOS on, on the Pre. And stay tuned. We're going to dive in more detailed on different applications and on different, uh, on specific applications and specific, you know, utilities and tools. Uh, but that, remember guys, menu in the upper left in your applications if you're looking for how to use it, that particular screen, the gestures and the cards. Flick the cards up to get them out of the way and as far as the status uh, 
the statuses that come up, you flick them to the right to get them off. So uh, there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed this. Um, yeah, signing off. Later.